So, Loretta, we mm -hmm. ended um, with you talking a little bit about your experiences at Wilmington College. Mm -hmm. How did you decide to go to Wilmington College, and did you have any concerns because it was a Quaker school? No. Uh, the, uh, when I was in senior, a senior in high school, um, they, um, the recruiter came to school to talk about Wilmington. Uh, I was in the National Honor Society, right, and so they, they would have college people come in to talk to us. And he was there, and uh, he, he, he did this presentation. And then um, I didn't want to go far, far, far away from home. So I went to visit some schools. And I went to Wilmington, and they had somebody show me around. And it just felt, you know, they were so friendly and so nice. And I just felt very, very comfortable there. So I applied, and then they gave me a scholarship. So, well, that was the end of that. So I guess we're going there. <laughs> so that's why I went to Wilmington. And participating in protests and becoming somewhat of an activist, was that different for you? Yes, because we had never, I'd never seen anybody protest anything. Especially, you know, anti-war, the government, you're against the go what the government said. I'd never heard it. That was, there's something wrong with these people. Uh, but I loved, I loved the Quakers and so we, I, you know, you started questioning things. Uh, we had uh, Mr. Gare, Dr. Guerra, oh my Lord. He was, uh, because I was a history government major. I loved history and government. And he was, he really started me, because he used to bring in paintings. And he would say things like, when was this painting done? And we'd try to guess. And he said, you must understand, artists always interpret their time. So this painter could have only painted that painting during this certain period of history. They would have never painted it 10 years before or 10 years after because artists always, you know, interpret what's going on in, in their time period. So it was just, oh, so there is, you know, more than history just being in books and, and about a bunch of dead people. Uh, that it, history was alive and, and I, I loved, I loved history. And participating in some of the protests and other yes. did, did that, perhaps make you feel like you were a part of history? Did yes, because, you know, this was the Vietnam War and we were, we got our, our cards and we, uh, our, you know, we made our signs and, and we marched down the street and, and I can remember uh, my husband and I weren't married that, but, you know, he, he went, we went to the post office and he, and he told them he wasn't going to register and it was like, oh my, you know, and they almost had a heart attack. Uh, but it was just, uh, it was, it's very liberating and very freeing. That, and that I had never, uh, you know, like I said, you know, learning that you really, you, you can say something and you can be a citizen and individual and you can make a difference. Was that hard for shy Loretta? No. Interestingly enough, I don't know whether it's because I was, you know, what I, I can remember the night before I went to college and thinking, oh my God, I'm going to this strange place. I'm going, I don't want to go. And then I thought, you know what? Nobody there knows me. They don't know who I am, so I can re completely reinvent myself and I'll be somebody different. And so when I went there, I was more outgoing, you know, I, was, I became cheerleader, <laughs> my lord. Uh, you know, I was in school plays and I did, you know, I was in all these activities and it was very, it was wonderful. I, I, it was very liberating. You mentioned that um, you met your husband mm -hmm. in college. Can you tell no, us? No, not in college. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, you want me to tell you how I met my father? Oh, poor, <laughs> poor Charles. Uh, <laughs> my father was, like I said, was a civilian employee of the Air Force, and they closed down Wright Patterson Air Force Base in Dayton, Ohio, and they transferred. You had a choice of either stopping the job or being transferred. So we were transferred to this. Excuse me this little small town in central Ohio near Columbus called Newark, Ohio. Very small town. Uh, it was such a shock because we came from this, you know, uh, a large city, upper middle class, well not, you know, middle class black background to this small town where blacks were not in leadership positions. You know, they were very poor. They, they would never think about going certain going to a restaurant it would never occur to them right uh, and 
my sister went, so I, and I was off at college when this happened, and when my parents moved. So I came back my freshman year. My sister was dating uh, this guy, and he had a good friend. <laughs> so we went to the drive-in, and Charles and I sat in the front seat watching the movie, and my sister and her boyfriend were in the back seat. And we were like, okay, <laughs> okay. Um, so, the, uh, and, and to be truthful, I hated him. He was so, you know, it, 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 he's, my husband's two years younger than I am also. So he was still in, in he was a junior in, in high school when we first met. Uh, and, you know, he was just this, a small town guy. He's very sweet, but he was, you know, it was like, duh. <laughs> so, um, but it took, um, but over then, you know, over the years, because there was nobody else to talk to, uh, there was such a small black community uh, that we started getting to be friends. And he was, um, uh, he wanted to go, you know, he wanted to become a professor. So he had all these, these goals. And so we got married, and that's what we say. So <laughs> after you met, did you go back to college? Did you go back? Oh, yes, I finished school, yes. And yes. what was it like? Him being at home, it's still in high school, you in college. He used to drive down every weekend and pick me up in his Le Mans, his Pontiac Le Mans. <laughs> but he was always late. He'd say he'd be there at 10 and, you know, one thirty he'd show up. Because he had, I didn't know what he was doing. But we'd always drive back. Yes. Okay. And Mrs. Henry, we're mm -hmm. going to have to take a break. Okay. Here. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much.